Hello and welcome to the information video for the course Introduction to General Relativity to be offered on the NPTEL RSYM platform. At the bottom of the screen, you should be able to locate the link to the preview page of the course. I'm the instructor for this course, Arapin Bhattacharya, who is a member of the Faculty of Physics at IIT Gandhinagar, and myself, Shupar Rai, member of the Faculty of Physics at IIT Hyderabad. Let me first give you the course overview. The aim of the course is to introduce Einstein's theory of general relativity and study a few simple solutions thereof, namely the Schwarzschild solution, gravitational waves, and therefore larger view cosmologies. The main point of view we adopt in this course is that Einstein's general relativity is the unique special relativistic generalization of Newton's non relativistic scalar theory of gravitation. The plan of the course is as follows first, we will review um, Newton's non relativistic theory of gravitation and special relativity with special emphasis on uh, special relativistic formulations of physical laws, for example, Newtonian mechanics, fluid mechanics, Maxwell theory. And then we will try to embed Newton's theory in a special relativistic framework, and we will see that what emerges is a dynamical space-time metric, that is warp space-time, and the associated general coordinate invariance. Then we will begin a mathematical preparation for working in warp space-time, which is by familiarizing ourselves with the elements of point set topology, differential geometry, and Riemannian geometry. This will give us the opportunity to introduce concepts such as connections and curvature. Once we are done with this mathematical preparation, we can write down the Einstein field equations and the associated gate entities. Then our task would be to study simple solutions of the Einstein field equations, uh, namely the Schwarzschild solution. We will see how uh, we can derive this. And we will also explore this geometry in detail by looking at time-like and light-like geodesics in the structural geometry, which forms the arena for the classic tests of the um, generativity. We will also study a special uh, linear limit of Einstein field equations in which we get solutions such as gravitational waves and gravitational radiation. And these have become enormously important in the context of the LIGO discovery. Finally, we will study homogeneous isotropic cosmologies which are described by the robertson walker metric. And these will lead, lead us to the FLR review cosmologies, which are solutions of Einstein field equations that are accepted in on vacuum. We have to put the matter. Uh, if we have time, we will discuss the Big Bang universe and the uh, three observational pillars of the Big Bang universe, namely Hubble expansion, CMB, and the abundant light elements. We will stop after discussing the Lambda CDM model, which is the current paradigm. Or cosmology. The evaluation plan um, is as follows. The assessment will be based on uh, homework assignments, 12 in all, and the final exam. The detailed evaluation plan, including weightages and scores, um, can be found in the introduction part of the webpage on the NPTEL website. The link is provided here. Grading will be absolute. And no single textbook will be followed for this course, but from the time to time, we'll give references to a material, books, uh, full-time papers as well. Here are some standard references. The first three are, um, I mean, advanced undergraduate level texts on general activity. The next three are postgraduate level texts. Nakahara's book um, will be a good supplement for the mathematical preparation part of the course. And finally, from, uh, we will also give some advanced references. We will take material from advanced references, such as by the Thorn Wiener, Wanda Richard, Ward, Finding Lectures in Gravitation, and Hacking Ellis. The prerequisites for this course are a good command over special relativity, maximum electrodynamics, analytical mechanics, and mathematical methods of physics, in particular vector calculus, linear algebra, multivariable calculus, ODEs, and PDEs. And we will encourage the students to make use of online resources available. For example, the MIT OCW on their relativity link is provided here, and well as the problem bank on black holes and cosmology. Again, the link is uh, provided here. Finally, general relativity is an extremely geometric subject, so it helps um, into it, to build intuition. It's better to study some visualizations, and NASA's website has a lot of animation with visualizations for various theoretical topics. I will encourage the students to please uh, explore again. 
we will stop here and conclude the information video. Thank you very much.